Hey guys, welcome back to All on Law. This is what you call genetics or a quick pediatrics. And today I'm gonna talk about back with weed man. syndrome so for I'm um, here I'm discussing only for important points for USMLE or for MRC PCH examination or, or any other pediatric board examination or any other entrance examinations so here I'll be discussing briefly and very important points uh, most of the times in examination they will give the clinical features and you have to diagnose the disease rather going in detail regarding the what you call uh, Genetics of this, it's better to know the clinical features and you have to diagnose this disease. Remember, the best way to remember about the features of this disease, I remember as a weed man, as a white man, means there is a overgrowth. There is a overgrowth. The overgrowth of the whole part of the body means the child looks really very big compared to the same child of the same age okay so overgrowth of the body there can be two possibilities either it can they can have the overgrowth of the all other parts of the all the parts of the body or either some part of the body can be over uh, can have overgrowth and that's known as asymmetrical uh, back with Whitman syndrome okay so what's the genetics of this remember it's what you call um, there's a gene affected on a chromosome 11 you know very well the chromosome comes from the parent, either parent from father and the mother, right? So the father and the mother, sorry, father and the father. It's father and the mother. So the both they give the chromosome 11 and there are some genes over them, right? From a, uh, If some genes misses from a father or from mother, then that re results in a back with Weidman syndrome. And there is a one known as IGF2, insulin growth factor 2, um, disrupted because of the disruption there's also what you call that causes on a chromosome 11 that can cause back with Weidman syndrome and the back with Weidman syndrome has a genetics of hereditary like a sporadic in nature sporadic in nature okay so let's talk about what you call the clinical features that these are really very important here I'm not going to list out the clinical features the first remember is macrosomia very really big baby okay they will have micro macro glossia big tongue okay right and because of this micro glossia sometimes they undergo surgery glossectomy can be done for that partial glossectomy not the full okay if they take out if you take out the full tongue you cannot speak right yeah then there can be, and remember, these patients are very prone for cancers, especially the abdominal cancers. Abdominal cancers, okay. And they will have what you call um, um, hypoglycemia. Why there is a hypoglycemia? I will tell you. Because of the pancreatic beta cell hyperplasia, as I said in a beckwith Weidman syndrome, there is a overgrowth of every part of the body. So the pancreatic beta cell hyperplasia and that was, uh, and means when there is a hyperplasia of this uh, beta cells, excess of islets, and that results in a secretion of more insulin and results in the hypoglycemia, right? Very good. Now, the fetal, they can have what you call a fetal adrenocortical cytomegaly. So you know very well, fetal adreno. So name itself indicates adrenocortical cytomegaly means they're more than normal size. Okay. Large kidneys, kidneys will be large with renal medullary dysplasia. Renal medullary dysplasia. Okay. And more and amount of what you call RBCs in the body. So in union period you can get polycythemia. Okay. Omphalocele um, could be seen. Omphalocele. Um, Very important for USML is hemitrophy, hemi hypertrophy, remember. 
hemihypertrophy and linear fissures in lobule of external ear external ear okay guys and as I said they are very risk for abdominal cancers remember okay so how do you manage this really very what you call um, important so many things are big in these patients so first what you have to do is obtain ultrasound and uh, once the diagnosis is confirmed obtain ultrasound and serum AFP one is ultrasound and serial what is it serum AFP every six months to six years to six years to look for why, why why we do this is to look for development of these patients are more prone for development of abdominal cancers like worms tumor and hepatoblastoma worms tumor and hepatoblastoma okay guys so these are the important what you call um, um, features, clinical features about uh, back with Weidman syndrome. As I said, management depends uh, on uh, what you call if they have a what you call a macroglossia, then you can do partial glossectomy. Okay, hypoglycemia treat with the um, repeatedly giving glucose uh, so that you should maintain the blood glucose level. So it's all what you call supportive management for these patients. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.